on this episode of Stump Jumper Brewing TV. We got an extra brewer. He's gonna help us make a sour. <laughs> if he can just get rid of, get away from his German Pilsner. <laughs> So yes, uh, we are going to try a sour again. Um, and hoping that it turns out better this time. This is uh, a full mix um, from Brooklyn Brew Shop, which we always talk about if you wanna jump into home brewing, one gallon batch. So if it sucks, um, doesn't really matter too much. How are we feeling? Nervous. What happened last time? We didn't sour the whole thing. We just soured the mash. Yeah, but the recipe <laughs> told us to do that, so. Yeah, but we're gonna try to sour the whole board, and I think that would be better. Um, and this, and we get to boil it too, so it, there's a lower risk of contamination in gross things. Right. And we did make a goza last time, so maybe uh, that's that's what goes around with it. <laughs> and I think the peach and the green tea is like a good thing. For yeah. Uh, so that is our plan. Uh, we're to commemorate our crappy beer that we made last year. We're calling this a sucky sour, uh, which hopefully doesn't turn out sucky. <laughs> and our boy just ate his supper. He ate his supper. He's a big mean bulldog. <laughs> Is this video for kids? No. <laughs> Say hello. My name's Yori. And my dad's drink beer. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so it's St. Patrick's Day weekend and we're in lockdown, which was what happened to us last year when we brewed uh, during St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so we're going to try something fun uh, or Maybe what I would consider fun uh, for this beer tasting brew. Um, we're gonna have like a Irish style uh, tournament to declare which is the best uh, Irish style beer. Now, I don't know. Maybe cream ales are not considered Irish style, but they come in that Irish mix pack. So we have. Uh, <laughs> Well, it was mostly red and stout, which we do have. So uh, we have the Combine's Cream Ale uh, from Split Rock and the Lawn Sweeper Cream Ale from uh, Iron Rock. So they're going to play off this round and uh, see, who, see who makes it to the next round. So oh, first up is the Combine Cream Ale from Split Rock. This is probably the first uh, like real, not I shouldn't say real craft beer, but um, aside from visiting Kitty Vitty and Port Rexton, uh, we visited Split Rock uh, the weekend that they opened actually. And Combine's was probably was my favorite one at the time. That was before I was super into IPAs. Um, so what do you, what do you think of this one? Amazing. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Clean, crisp, super drinkable. Yeah. Great. Every, every like, old man on a deck. <laughs> <I'd love this. laughs> okay, so the tournament is going to, the first round will end. We're going to open the Lawn Sweeper Cream Ale now. Okay, so Mr. Beer connoisseur. This one got more, more depth. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more happening. Like there's kind of a little bit of an aftertaste. Not a bad one, but um, I feel like I'm gonna give the win to Lawn Sweeper. It's much more creamy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, cause cream meals are like, a lager and an ale on the blender, whether it's with fermentation or whatever. And yeah, I don't know. I think I'm voting Lawn Sweeper. Depends on the day. Yeah, the last time I had a can of this, I wasn't like super no, happy. Like, between both of them. Yeah. Like, if I was there on a deck and it was blazing hot, I would pick um, 
Combines. Combines. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we gotta have a winner. Who wins? I love Live City, so fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we're going Irish Red. Um, we were out of the province with uh, this garrison. Um, really hope we can visit uh, Nova Scotia again soon. Uh, we actually posted on our Instagram a, uh, a poll to see which of each style would, uh, would win. And Secret Cove actually won two. This red, uh, red vinyl I wish, Irish red, I wish red, I wish red, um, got so many votes. So uh, we're excited to see how that turns out. Oh, we're interrupting a nap here to discuss our thoughts on Garrison's uh, Irish red. So what do you, what do you think, sir? That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, I just had some lemonade, so. <laughs> it's, uh, I say malty, is that right? Well, what type of malt are you I don't using? know. There's um, different, there's like, like biscuit. There's I feel like caramel. Kind of toffee, yeah. caramel flavor, yep. So that would be like, oh, it's a baby. And uh, mom is here. Uh, you're really not on reds, but you yep. like this one, don't you? Very nice. See if she'll drink a stout later. No. <laughs> so we've got, the other uh, red contender is uh, Secret Cove's Irish Red. Uh, we made the trip out to Secret Cove uh, also two summers ago, and uh, we're really glad that we did. It was a little out of the way, we were staying in Cornerbrook, but uh, the beers were really great, and we had some nice chats with the, uh, with the owners. So uh, we're glad to be able to get we uh, their beers here. Um, and again, this one got lots of votes. So, um, ooh, okay. So it, this is the first time uh, we've ever had this one. Uh, mm -hmm. It uh, kind of like a smoky black. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, that's cool. I think I'm gonna go, I think I gotta give the vote to uh, Garrison though. I'm a secret though. Okay, well maybe mom will be the tiebreaker as to who uh, who wins. Uh, I will say they're doing smoke right here because uh, mm. I hate smoked beers, like hate them. It's smoke? I, no, I don't think so. You said you're getting a smoky taste. But... No, that's because of the malt that they use. Remember we got the uh, one of those really dark ones that we got? Uh -huh. It's like that. I forget the name. I'm fired. Oh. Oh, yeah. I have a it's, it, it is good. I still, I still think I'm going with. Uh, I still think I'm gonna go with Garrison. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see who wins this one. My mom tastes it. So we decided. We found a recipe uh, for a green tea and peach uh, sour, so we're also hoping that those flavors will sort of mask any Very crappiness of it, but we're also going to add uh, some lemon peel that we purchased because uh, we're going to play up the peach green tea lemonade from Starbucks. Because we've been, like, we're pretty good at adding, like, fruit in, obviously, because we're fruits, <laughs> but, like, we're pretty good at doing that now, like, resting the wart on like some good fruit that's clean. So I realize I'm not actually even really helping with this brew. Maybe I will on Monday when when we have to add the you hops and to, you're on for Monday. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> uh so you want this one to turn out shitty too, do you? <laughs> because uh, you're the one who knows what we're doing. So, uh, based on mom's vote, sorry, Secret Cove, but um, Garrison Garrison goes to uh, the next round. So, I guess based on the tournament, it's going to be Lawn Sweeper versus the Irish Red. So, uh, I guess we'll have to figure out... Ooh, what did you like? Uh, 
between the the red you liked and the cream ale that you liked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mom liked the red better. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna have to really think about it. Actually, I kind of think the red maybe. <laughs> crashing right now and um this is where the lactobacillus or the at 100 degrees Fahrenheit okay so you're just gonna open that and put it in right mm -hmm. so the tablet's in there we're going to saran wrap which is bad for the environment but good for sour um and then we're gonna keep it in our oven for two days so we'll see how that turns out We'll be back in two days to finish the brew. So it's a couple days later and we've moved on. I've changed Irish style shirts. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing actually a Guinness shirt that I bought at the Guinness brewery uh, when I toured it in Dublin. Uh, and I couldn't drink the Guinness when I got to the top because I didn't like it. Um, so we're drinking the Yellow Belly St. John Stout. Um, don't, I don't really have much to say about it. Um, I like it. Stouts have not really, stouts are hit and miss for me. And I know this is like as Irish as you can get, but um, it's just kind of tastes like water. It has like a really roasty, almost cocoa-y vibe to it. I'm not getting that. I'm and just... on nitro, it's like velvety smooth. Yes, uh, I'll you probably post that. Breakfast, I'll right? probably post that picture actually in this video uh, that we took at Yellow Belly a couple St. Patty's days ago, uh, Aaron had his stout and the picture with the hash browns. It looks it looks so much uh, better than what's in this glass here right now. Instagram, go check it out. At Mosaic Wit. No, about this. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, Ooh. it certainly smells sour. Uh, so shout out to whoever this guy is, Derek Springer. Apparently he, I write and code, I write code and brew beer. If you ask nice, I'll share some with you. Okay. Seems like a wild and crazy guy with his patterned shirt and fedora and a stout perhaps but he wrote this article uh intro to mashing uh from 2015 so we just consulted that and saw where is it this photo which looks a lot like what we had um and he just suggested to uh scrape the uh sort of film on the top there off um and as long as it doesn't it make you much better. Yeah, so as long as it doesn't make you want to throw up, he says you should be good to go and continue boiling. So thanks, Derek. Okay, so I had to wrestle down that stout, unfortunately. Sorry, yellow belly. Uh, so this secret cove uh, I mentioned in the red category, they got um, so many votes. Uh, both the stout, their stout and their red. So uh, this one actually got the most votes, I think, of any of the beers that we asked on Instagram. So it's called Win and Stout, um, Foreign Irish Stout. Love ourselves a couple Irish boys. <laughs> and some French and Boston boys. This one. A lot of Boston people who have Irish roots. What's, uh, so what do you see from just the pour? Ooh, it looks a little darker. I feel like it has more of a smell. Now it's cold too. Oh, yeah. This is fucking good. This is chocolatey. Yeah, it gives. That's the thing, um, and I think last year when we tried the Kitty Bitty Irish Stout, I felt it was just really plain, but I know that that's the style and whatever, whatever, whatever. 
But if I'm gonna drink more, I'm going with uh, I'm going with Secret Cup. Same. Sorry, Yellow Belly. <laughs> No pictures. So, when trying to figure out a fourth category of Irish beer, I decided let's have a wild card. So, this, uh, the two entries here are our choices, not Instagram choices. Um, I picked a favorite and I picked this one up from the NLC. Uh, it's Innocent Gun from Scotland, but it is an Irish whiskey cask, Irish whiskey barrel stout. So, uh, I know that Aaron quite enjoys Jameson Irish whiskey, and uh, he already tasted his and says that this is a man's beer, but then prefaces this by saying that was a very misogynistic comment and that he does not stand for misogyny. So, I'm going to uh, taste it. Oh, it's actually quite good. So, now we have poured up a harp. Oh, how does Yodi think of the harp? Oh, oh, he wants some. He wants to play it. <laughs> um, I want to see what Aaron thinks of this. It's really good. I first ordered harp back in, there was an old St. John's restaurant called Folly. And they had some like fancy beers, which may have just been at the liquor store. I don't know. Um, but I didn't know that at the time. I only drank Corona then. And uh, mm. so I used to be like, ooh, I'm going to try some new beer. So, um, for some reason, I ended up choosing Harp. So Harp is just a, a, a lager. Uh, it's brewed by the people who make Guinness, which I was hoping when I toured Guinness that um, I would be able to get Harp as my beer at the top, but it was just Guinness. There was a whole spiel about it. Uh, so I like Harp. It's a, I really, I think I appreciate it more now after trying different lagers over the years. Um, so Aaron, do you have any thoughts? It's nice. It's heavier than the regular, like the average lager. I like it. Because Irish people are alcoholics, I guess. Is that? No, it's like 5%. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so can you please, can this win against the Innocent Gun? Sure. I think that was a vote under coercion. <laughs> I may have, uh, influenced this election. Yogi votes innocent gun. Boo. Vote harp. There you go. Boy. Oh, step. Uh, and you can see he cares a lot. Um, for some reason he wants to get in the, in the fridge. Um, and clearly we do a great job of cleaning because he knows that there's some sort of food issue here. But we're super great at cleaning uh, our beer stuff. <laughs> super great for anybody who's tried our beer and is worried. Uh, so you got the peaches, mangoes in there. We've got some lemon drop hops. We've got some green tea. So what do you think? What do you, how's it smell after the weirdness of taking it out of the yeah. oven? It smells better, okay. That's great. Yodi, what do you think? He doesn't want to be. <laughs> no pictures, please. So I hope this I hope this turns out good. And hopefully in a month or so, we will be able to have um, some people over to try these. So the brew is done. I think we'll be back in a couple days on literal St. Patrick's Day to uh, do the semifinals and the finals for our tourney. That's short for tournament, because I'm super cool like that. Uh, we made some Irish nachos. Now, normally I make them with uh, just plain Miss Vicky's kettle chips, but Aaron suggested he wanted something more than that. So I guess these are kind of like Irish nachos with uh, meats, potato skins. Uh, but we're washing it down. 
with a Patrick's Pale Ale from Yellow Belly. So um, this is a lagered ale. Great. We uh, tried it Friday night in preparation for this uh, vlog. And I think it's going to go great with our Irish nachos. So happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you in a couple days with the finals of our Irish beer tournament. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. Uh, we're gonna go. We we're gonna go live on Instagram. Uh, taste the four beer for our semifinal. Do a little cross promotion to get you guys to follow us at Mosaic Wit. Um, talked for probably about twenty five minutes, and realized that it wasn't actually live. So, oopsie daisies. Uh, as you remember from this past weekend or earlier in the vlog, if you're watching, we had. You want to hold these up? We had Lawn Sweeper, Cream Ale won the Cream Ale category. Uh, Garrison's Irish Red won the Irish Red category. So we had these guys play off and uh, Lawn Sweeper uh, won. We've got a lot of that Irish Red to uh, finish up. Then we had Secret Coves win in Stout versus our uh, Wild Card category winner, Harp lager and uh to my chagrin that's a word i don't use enough um we decided to pick the win and stout so we're sort of deliberating here between iron rocks uh lawn sweeper cream ale and the win and stout irish stout so i think with the help of skip from uh, skip shed even though he hasn't had this out, so maybe he's not really much help. But he likes Lawn, lawn Sweeper. Um, so let's do that. Yeah. Lawn Sweeper wins. Sure. Lawn, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> also, this beer would look great uh, with some green food coloring in it. So uh, maybe that's what I'll do to oh, don't do uh, that. End, off, oh my goodness. end off the vlog. Oh, well, actually, I guess the end of the vlog will be us trying sour, which this is going to be like Avengers Infinity War here. Okay, so normally uh, I'd have a label done up by now, but I'm really unsure about how this, how sucky this sucky sour is going to turn out to be. So that'll depend, uh, the taste of it will uh, help dictate what's written on the label. So today's the first day, uh, like it's been bottled for two weeks, so uh, we're having a beer tasting this weekend, uh, so maybe it'll, ooh. Aaron, it smells sour. Yeah. Like, in a good way. <laughs> so, here's how it looks. Ooh. It smells? It tastes sour. It does taste sour. Not bad. Um, might need a little bit more time, you think? But yeah, there's one. Does that smell like green apple to you? No. We had green tea, you remember? Ah, uh, oh, okay. And uh, lemon peel. It's probably just. It tastes lovely though. It does need more time. Yes. Yeah. Cool. It'll turn out. 